can do it. We good. Hey. Um, if you watched my last video, sorry I couldn't finish it. I will make sure I revisit it and come back when 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 it's not so fresh. If you don't want to know what I'm talking about, watch the last video. Yes. All right, now we're back. It's your girl, so touch your boy, Shadow Carolina name. Just my name is my motherfucking slogan and all the rest of that shit, bitch. All right. Now, we got my future baby mama, Blair, and Sugarfoot over here, non Blair. Now, the reason why I'm doing a video, because this is the question I have. Now, Over here, shorty over here on the right. She she still got her parts. And big swole dude over here. You get my point, right? I ain't got to be graphic just yet. But um The basic of this, the basis of this video is is Playboy right here. Is he a sugar foot? Cause um, technically he ain't supposed to be, right? What you think? I mean, he got a cute, but I need to point. <laughs> well, uh, not supposedly. But hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Now, she still got her back. Right. Oh, and he got a back. Right. So all they're going to be doing is fencing. Right. But. Mama C, Mama C, Mama Michael Okay. What? Okay. I know, I know y'all freaky motherfuckers have been on Pornhub before, right? Now, if you got a um, transgender person that's being fucked by a, by a dude, I don't want to say straight, because that's debatable, motherfuckers. Now, he got to hit her from the back in the poop shoe, correct? She ain't got no hole, right? Mm -hmm. Blow. But, if you do not reach around, and real niggas know what the reach around is, and you don't touch the pole, can you be considered gay? Like, like, okay, we kept it on, if it was like the basis, he a man and she a woman, and she sucks his dick, and he fuck her in the butt, mm -hmm. but if he lick her dick, you get where I'm going with this, y'all, so, oh, this is one of them, this is one of them, <laughs> so my thing would be, if you don't touch the rod, Cause you can still do the same to a real girl, but if you, but then there's always that question of if you do have anal sex, whether it's with a full fledged woman, biological one, that that's still kind of questionable because that's the only entry that a gay man would have. You get where I'm going with this show? And these are not my own; these are not my views, cause y'all know my views. But what I'm saying is. If he don't touch it in no kind of way, he can still be in love with her as a woman and not be gay. Yeah. What you think? Yeah. I mean, well, let, let's see what they say. Maybe we can, uh, because hey. I mean, let's. He didn't know. He got vested. No, 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 no. He knew. Before they got together, I don't know, but we, know. we don't know when. But we okay, know, but he know. Well, let's, mm -hmm. okay, let's, let's, let's see what it say. I, well, Cause, I'm, cause, 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 I'm sure he knows now. I mean, but um, but I mean, she got the pole though. Okay, well, let's see. No, what I, mean, I know, but he ain't tucking it, so you can't really like. Okay, he kind of didn't. He didn't know. Cause I mean, well, if she's wearing dresses, she's tucking it. Hold on. Yeah, 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 facts, facts. Go, yeah, facts, facts, facts. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's deep right there. Oh, no, oh, no. 
Ellie welcome back to my sweet. channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I feel like you're always involved in like the most embarrassing videos on my channel. And I feel like it's always just a poke fun at Joey when you're on my channel. I'm sure it's not going to be embarrassing. So for the past year or so, Joey has been a big part of my channel. You've been in like some of the biggest videos on my channel. We had the reacting to old boy pictures video. Oh God, yeah. We had the MAGA hat in Hollywood video. We had the feminist rally downtown. Mm -hmm. And we did the living as a man for a day video. Right. And I feel like because you've been such a huge part of my channel, mm -hmm. naturally people have like a million questions. And it's so funny because I feel like people talking about your sexuality, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're bi, if you're some offshoot of a Tumblr sexuality is so, it's like half of my feed is just that all the time, especially when I post you. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> stop, stop. Oh no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh no. It's one of those topics that I feel like is so important to people online, but in real life, it's like so unimportant. And I know you get like a lot of people asking you crazy questions as well since being on my channel. Yeah, people online are very invested. They'll be calling me all kinds of names. They're like, hey, you know, how do you like f***ing a faggot? Or how do you like getting a d in your ass? Or how come you like licking and doing all this f***ing shit as some f***ing gay guy and like, you know, other shit like that? <laughs> One of the top searches with the name Blair White mm -hmm. is and actually always has been Blair White boyfriend. So obviously everyone's question is, what's his sexuality? What does he identify as? Is he gay? Is he straight? Is he bi? Is he something else? And I'm of the opinion, and this is based on studies. I will link the study below. I think men who are attracted to trans women are none of the above. I think that their own kind of thing and there's just not easy language for it. There is a word, but it's incredibly long and sounds gross, which is why people don't use it. The word is gynandromorphophilic, which sounds like you have some kind of disease, oh, yeah. which is so clearly people aren't <laughs> going to use that word ever. In the trans community, I feel like it's really foul because people tend to call people like you chasers, which is like, <laughs> which sounds derogatory. You know what I mean? Like it sounds like mean. Yeah, that sounds pretty mean. So for all intents and purposes, obviously the easiest word to describe my sexuality is straight. Ain't nothing wrong with being a little gay. Everybody's a little gay. Except if anything, it feels gayer because I do all the dishes and cleaning and Blair doesn't help around the house at all. <laughs> no, 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 for real. But obviously we're self-aware enough to realize that it's not perfectly that. Right. And we're not super hung up on like how to fit it perfectly into one particular box the way other people want it to fit. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, who cares? No, so I get wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. First of all, I'm going to research that word so I can bring y'all some more information. Second of all, my nigga went real extra with the impotence, did he not? And all he had, it, but, but okay. Think about this though. Isn't my sexuality my preference? So whatever I think I am, that's what I am. But 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 but, but he did kind of put it on the line, did he not? I know y'all know what the boop, boops, boops, boop, boop. Yeah, YouTube algorithm. But yeah, that, that, he can consider himself that, but if you playing with the balls. If you play with the pole, if you pull up with them dicks like Miss Jeffries say, it's a little questionable. Just, just, just questionable, dog. Just a little bit. Yeah, you know I mean? there's, there's no reason. Even as someone who's very like interested in like gender and sexuality, that's one of the main topics of my channel. But mm -hmm. even I can't fathom like getting caught up in like really wondering that hard about it. You know what I mean? Long and short, you're attracted to biological and trans women that's kind of what that is right right mm -hmm. and so some people would say well, maybe that's bisexual but not really because the definition of bisexual doesn't fit that either okay wait okay hold on, hold on hold on I, I feel y'all but it's the pole though my nigga let's be real it's the pole it... okay i see what you say maybe if it's post op, right? But it's the pole. That's the thing that make you buy, I think. Because if they still got it in you, you can be a fully straight man and you're going to let that dick hit you in some kind of way. You feel me? Like, just like when, just like when two dudes have a, 
have, have a female, they doing the threesome. And they want to do the do the double. You know damn well you ain't supposed to look. And they ain't supposed to touch. They just want to switch places and continue on with the process. But I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer this question. What do you do when they when they, at night when they spoon? Ain't got to tie it down. No, but it's different. Because he, I hope he, well, if he say he's straight, he should be busting it open when they turn the canoe. Okay, so he says he's straight. So if he's saying he's straight, then he's not a bottom at all. He's a, he's a top. No, and he no, 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 no. Facts, 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 facts. Damn, that, that's the woo. He coming out with the shit. I don't know. I don't Basically, know. Basically, we joke all the time. Like, <laughs> we call you gay all the time. Yeah. And we call I mean, me a man funny. all the time. And it's, it's, I feel like if you don't have a sense of humor about it, you're just going to be miserable. But it's like having a friend that's like only into pregnant chicks or something, you know? And it'll be like, so what is that it about it pregnant chicks? Weird. It is weird. <laughs> Think about it. I, I like you and you're trans. What are the chances of that? Everyone always has questions about who you dated in the past, which I don't really like thinking about who you dated in the past, but who did you typically date? I dated tall girls. <laughs> so dated tall if girls. anything, they were kind of manly, but they weren't They weren't men. They were just really tall. How tall like, was your last girlfriend? She was like six feet tall. She was just as tall as me, pretty much. Oh she God. was very tall. Yeah. I'm 5'5". Five, 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 no, you're short. Compared to the giants I've been slaying. What have you said? So I don't think you're slaying or by. What do you take it away? It's like a Kinsey scale. <laughs> I saw the movie, but I don't remember anything except for him cutting his dick. So have you ever dated a biological man who presented as such and wasn't transgender, didn't transition, and yeah, just like a straight up like someone like you? Like a dude? Someone like, like you. Like a bro? Like someone a, like, like you. Like dated bro? like a guy like that walks and talks like a guy? Yeah. No. <laughs> exactly. Do you think your orientation is something that you have any like psychological reason for or like something in your past, anything like that? This is going to sound like I'm making this up and you don't even know this and I'm going to say it on <laughs> camera right now. But this is really going to blow everyone's mind. What? So when I was in preschool and I had a crush on this girl named May and I went under the slide and I told her I liked her and she said Aww. she was a guy. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> she said she was a boy. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> never, never told was anybody she... until right now. She was Asian and she was really hard to tell. And with a name like May, you don't know. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> and then even Wait. my parents knew that I had a crush on May and I never told them that it was a boy the whole time. <laughs> And to this day, my grandpa thinks that I like Asian chicks. <laughs> All because of that little boy under the slide. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So do you think this, like, messed you up? I don't know, but it happened, and it was in preschool. I feel like that might explain a lot about you. It might. I'm glad we had this talk. I've never told anybody That's about so that. That's so crazy. Isn't that crazy? Thought it was a girl. God, I say that every time. <laughs> you still say that. I still say that. I mean, honestly, I'm not one of those people that's of the opinion that like orientation comes from like stuff happening in your life, but like that is kind of deep. If May, if you're watching this, <laughs> hey May, <laughs> please comment. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, All through high school, there was zero attraction to like even trans people. Like, never thought about you know at all. Like, never. Um, just chicks. I had girlfriends. Everything was regular and fine. It always happens in college, honey. Yeah, I went to my little brother's college. Oh, God, he's probably going to see this. And uh, there was this waitress at this restaurant. And she was... I'm, like, already getting, like, she, mad. Yeah, she was pretty hot. And I'm already getting mad. I took her on a walk on the beach. You've never taken me on a walk on the beach. So anyway. I'm just going to pretend I didn't. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to edit that out. Okay. I'm from Virginia, and, like, I've never seen any trans people, like, ever. Like, never. So I took her on a walk on the beach, and I was drinking with her. We were drinking, and then we were going to start hooking up, and uh, she told me that she was trans. Okay? Me, never being exposed to any trans people, called her a that. and almost kicked her ass. And I told it her It happens. To, That's real. I told her to off 
lose my number and never talk to me again. And I left her there and I went home and then I started drinking and laughing with my friends like it never happened. Okay. It oh was my really, God. really shitty of me. But the next day we wake up and my friend is like throwing up or something. He's doing something. And my little brother is out with all of his classmates and they're doing stuff. So I was just alone with my thoughts. Then I'm looking through my messages and I'm like, damn, well, I really did hit it off with her. And I thought she was hot. I'm like, maybe I'm wrong. I was like, maybe I'm wrong. So then I called.